Today we're going to paint a monster um, and later on we're going to add it to this black paper so that it has a nice contrast and I've laminated that so it's a little shiny. So I've already drawn a monster with pencil and before I do anything else I'm going to open a box of pastels like this. I just kind of stick my finger in the side and slide these out and then I'm going to pick a white or a yellow pastel and I'm going to color in just his eyes and then also I'm going to color in his teeth and what this is going to do is when we paint it's going to uh, resist the watercolor and we'll end up keeping those white teeth and those white eyes so I would suggest white or yellow eyes you don't want to really get any of the other colors because they'll they won't show a good contrast with your paints so then I'm just gonna tuck those back up and and put them aside and I'm gonna get my watercolor brush and I want to move this into the frame a little bit closer here and that way we can see his whole body so these are watercolors so you want to dip your brush in the water and then you want to get whatever color you're going to use and you just start gently rubbing that brush over the paint like a kitten lick sometimes you can add a little bit more water on there and then we start to gently go across the color and you can see that everywhere that I've used my white oil pastel that the teeth are staying white. So I want to switch colors now. So I'm going to rinse my brush and I can wipe it off a little bit because I don't want to get that purple in another place. So then I'm going to come in and I don't want to go right around next to it because then that's going to make the purple bleed into the other areas. So I'm going to come down here with some green. And once again it's dry so I just add a little bit of water to it and it just very carefully go across. One thing you can do if you do want those colors to kind of blend together is you can do something like that on purpose. So for instance I'm going to add a little bit of this blue on there and it'll just kind of blend in. The trick is not to do too much color mixing in that otherwise you end up just getting a big brown mess. So this purple part is fairly dry now so I'm going to come in and use my red and I'm going to paint over top of his eyes. Notice the paintbrush never really gets squashed or pressed down too hard. We're just gently gliding it across the surface of our paper. see how that kind of blended in there so that doesn't bother me too much another thing I can do is I can come in with this paper towel and just kind of dab at it you don't want to scrub just kind of a little dab and then you can come in and fix that <laughs> 